Hey crew, Mark Hatmaker here. Dan Marks, how's it going, Dan? Good. You put on weight, huh? Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about Gunboat Smith, who was a, a, a boxer from the early days of the 20th century. Uh, he gave Jack Dempsey, the great Jack Dempsey, a run for his money with a shot. And that shot was something that wound up being called by sports writers the occipital punch. I go, what? What the hell's that out, Maker? Well, let me tell you. If you reach to the back of your head with the palm of your hand, you slide down, you can feel a slight bulge in the back of your head. That is the occiput, or the occipital area. That bulge right there is basically, he was looking to hit a target around there or just below it. So basically, is this an illegal blow? Wink, yeah, it is. All right, so you shouldn't be using the sport of a uh, competition, but our, uh, what floats our boat is old school boxing, old school wrestling, old school frontier rough and tumble combat, particularly the stuff that's mean, nitty gritty, and devil in the details. And that's what we're going to do right here. So um, the civil punch, it's a, it is definitely a form of a rabbit punch. You're going to wind up taking this spot, the shot at the occiput or just below it or in the back of the neck. Do not do this to a human being. I'm not really going to do it to Dan. We're going to use, give you some drilling steps to get to where you want to be. And then you can start applying this on a heavy bag to make sense uh, for yourself. Basically, if you want to envision it, I'm facing you. You and I are playing the game right now, and I'm taking the role of, uh, uh, of Gunboat Smith, except I'm a southpaw. So this is a uh, rear hand shot. Basically, if you think taking an outside step with this lead foot, or your lead foot if you're a lefty, go to the outside. Same time you're doing that, you're throwing a long, looping, kind of overhand, uh, kind of looping hook. Your hands would be closed, but right, I'm just trying to give you this motion to the outside, a bit of a loop on it. So if I put Dan over here, I'm going to have Dan hide me for just a few moments, but we'll see how I just don't throw an overhand with my hand coming over the top. You should see my body pop out on this side as the hand comes over at the same time. That gives you an idea of the, you step aside, please. Give you the idea of the footwork. I do not step into Dan. It's got to be in towards that outside lead foot. So that hand loose over the top. Striking surface is I'm gonna actually turn my hand back around this way. You can make it with a slap if you're really preserving your fist in a street situation, or you can turn around and strike with the inside of the fist right here. This is what we're striking with. As we're coming around with Dan, back to the camera please. I step around super slow, this comes in. Is this coming over the top? I, oh, sorry. I'm whipping in with it. You with me on that? So we're here super slow, pop and a little bit of a whip in, but really it's this big walloping shot that comes in. Now, obviously it works well with the head down, but if his head's back up, I'll bar you again down, his head's up, he's an upright fighter, same thing. This whip in coming to the inside, let's stay on the side, I'm just gonna face you guys. I'm going this way, you can sit right there, you go. I'm on here, it's got this nice little whip to the inside, and it looks like a lazy, loose hook, and maybe possibly bad form, but that step to the outside takes you off line with being right in front of this guy. This whipping action, whipping to the inside, catching the back of the head. Dempsey was here to tell you, he said, that's about the hardest I've ever been walloped in my life, and that's saying something for him. So if he said it's a fearsome beast, well, who are we to say we mere mortals, right? Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.